Today we conducted some uh, live fire shoots in the house uh, here in Rota, Spain. Working with uh, Fast Company Europe and some uh, explosive ordnance disposal technicians who are attached with uh, Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force Crisis Response Africa. Um, we had them attached with our, uh, our squads within the platoon um, and made some runs through the house uh, for considerations for both units to uh, work together uh, proficiently. So the main reason behind this training and the importance of it is, um, you know, so when we do have a mission and for our capabilities, we can train to a standard and sustain. And so whenever we do have something that we have to act on, uh, we're not going into something and trying to consider things on the fly. We are already uh, proficient and everybody is on the same page. Training with outside units gets you uh, on the same page as far as standard operating procedures and just considerations for other units because how we would operate in certain environments with those you know, improvised explosive devices and potential um, you know, threats inside, it's good to train with those so we're all moving in the same direction and we're all you know, working together. Any environment like this with a live fire shoot house, um, when it is a close quarters environment um, and live rounds from uh, the M4 and the uh, nine millimeter, you know, you just always want to maintain that security. So ensuring that we are doing things properly and safely. For me personally, like, I did get a lot out of this training. It provides different aspects of how I would work with explosive ordnance disposal attachments in a battle, a battle space like Afghanistan versus crisis response now. Um, so it helps me uh, and the squad leaders and the small unit leaders to understand the different types of missions that the explosive ordnance disposal teams can assist us in. Roger, Andex, get outside, let's go. Andex. Hey, I'm going to